Hi, and welcome to Discover Oklahoma. I'm Lauren Nelson. And I'm Dino Lawley. Today we're coming to you from the brand new Medicine Park Aquarium and Natural Sciences Center. And we're some of the very first visitors. The doors just opened in May. Located just outside Lawton in the Medicine Park area, there are seven different aquatic galleries as well as outdoor exhibits. We'll show you around throughout the show. But first, it's time for a taste of the Old West. Around every four weeks, gunslingers jump into action at the J.M. Davis Arms and Historical Museum in Claremore. And this time, our Jason Grubbs went along for the ride. It's the late 1800s, and law and order is a little loose in the West. All it took was a six-shooter and a smart marshal to help keep things in order. Yeah, they're rowdy, all right. I'm Annie Oakey, sharpest shooter in the West. Hang around and you'll see. With names like Shady Katie, the Leadville Ranger, and Dirty Bad Bob, you can bet things can get a little rowdy at the high noon Wild West shootout. One, two, three. Now that's what a gunfight looks like. These are the Tri-State Gunfighters and Reenactors, a group of volunteers out of Northeast Oklahoma. Owasa, Claremore, Wagner, Coweta, Prior, we have a, a good bunch of professional actors and actresses. You can find them on the weekends at the J.M. Davis Arms and Historical Museum, April through November. The show starts at high noon, of course, and lasts about an hour. But hey, it's Oklahoma, and the summer heat can trim up the time a little. So if it's going to be super hot, we might shorten that up to about 45 minutes. We try to be as authentic as we can to the Western theme from back in the 1800s. There's a town set up with a saloon, bank, blacksmith, and jail. And those guns are the real deal, 45s in fact. Now, you only shoot once when you pull the hammer back and then pull the trigger. It's not double action, single action. It's real, it shoot. This one here will shoot up to 255 grain bullets. The bullets are just blanks, the same kind used in the movies. But that ammunition can get expensive. While the show is free, the actors do welcome donations to help offset the cost. Every dollar counts, absolutely. There may be a storyline, but the actors say there's some ad-libbing going on too, keeping them on their toes and making every show a little different. We get our ideas from all over and we kind of combine them with different um, different skits that we've seen, different ideas that we've seen. We come up with some crazy stuff sometimes, but we have a lot of fun doing it and, and the crowd loves it. In Claremore, I'm Jason Krobs for Discover Oklahoma. The shootouts are held once a month with the next one taking place July 1st and then another on August 5th. A reminder, you can visit the museum anytime Tuesday through Saturday, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Wow, well, an old-fashioned Western gunfight is certainly one way to get your blood pumping. Well, here's another one for you. How about a little stunt driving, so to speak? This is on the safety course at OSU's OKC campus. And we sent our Jeff Roberts out to take a drive. Today, we're going to experience the most effective driver training tool available for learning how to control your vehicle. And as you can see, I am totally out of control. Okay, all kidding aside, Bill Hughes, the program coordinator at OSU of OKC's Precision Driving Training Center, tells us why everyone watching should take this course. We, we try to cover the basics of the common problems and situations that we see every day out here and show people alternatives to not get into those situations. Uh, driving is, it's the most important thing is your attitude toward it, how you approach it, the judgment and the decisions that you make and use when you're out driving. That's really the key thing. As you can see, the coolest thing about this facility is not only do they talk about it, they put you in the car on the road so you can put into action the driving techniques required to make it out of an emergency situation or bad weather. Okay, are you buckled in and ready to do this? Then let's get this thing started, Bill. So what I'm gonna do is just, you know, and just watch for you to make the proper correction. And I can always slick it up a little bit more if you're just too good. So as I'm doing this, you're actually adjusting right now, aren't you? Yeah, I, I, I make it a different slickness. And I make it where it might be correctable and it might not. And just so everybody knows, we're doing this at 20 miles an hour, so. See? 
That wasn't too bad. You had easy braking in his skid. Try not to use the brake. Okay. You can just steer out of it. What do you think happened next? Could I just steer out of it? There you go. Good job. Stayed away from the brake. Because sometimes when you apply that brake and it's that slick out, you know, it, it, could, it could make you lose what little contact you have on the other tires. Okay, see, I did pretty good. Now let's turn the SUV over to Candace Taylor, the Assistant Marketing and Communications Director right here at OSU of OKC. Okay, so now I'm just going to drive Kind of follows the yellow, yellow line here. Now you're going to speed up to about 15. Okay. No faster than that, you'll be just okay. fine. Oh, my gosh. Uh, 15, yeah, 15. Okay, and I'm just going to go with my You're just going to go around the corner like you normally would. Okay. okay just get a feel for it here. Uh-oh, I kind of took this fast, didn't I? Oh my gosh. <laughs> that was bad. Uh, it was, I don't think it was as bad as it could have been because I think our mics didn't catch everything we were saying. <laughs> <laughs> I want to give a quick shout out to Candace and thank her for letting us have some fun with her. Seriously though, OSU of OKC is the only public training center with a skid SUV in the Southwest region. And trust me, this training will improve your awareness and skills. All the more reason, if you have a business that has drivers or it's just you, this should be on your get done list. For the OSU OKC Precision Driving Training Center and Discover Oklahoma, I'm Jeff Roberts. Classes are open to the public all summer long. OSU OKC is located at 900 North Portland in Oklahoma City. Specific information about the classes can be found on their website. Coming up on Discover Oklahoma. It is hard to believe, yes, in every way that it's healthy because it just tastes so good. So good, so good. The good for you food that folks can't stop talking about. To be part of it is an honor. Plus we sit down with country music legend Roy Clark, the Oklahoma exhibit he's part of coming up. It's not too many places you can go and see the airplanes come in, which really entertains the children. And a great meal with an extra better view. We'll show you where a little bit later right here on Discover Oklahoma. Great travel tips anytime, like Discover Oklahoma on Facebook and follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Welcome back to Discover Oklahoma, coming to you from the newest attraction in Southwest Oklahoma, the Medicine Park Aquarium and Natural Sciences Center. And they've really done a fabulous job putting everything together here. They have, and if you're coming down here through Oklahoma City, we have a very good place to stop and grab a bite to eat. Tiffany Tatro takes us to OK Cedilla. Everybody loves a good quesadilla, but a new Oklahoma City restaurant is taking your classic favorite to a whole new level. It starts with a tortilla and cheese but the deliciousness doesn't stop there at OK Cedilla. This is uh, the super quesadilla. This, you won't get this taste nowhere but here. The Midtown Hotspot serves delicious, made-to-order gourmet quesadillas with a healthy twist. The whole menu is organic, um, all the way down to the seasonings. Everything from the produce to the meat comes from local Oklahoma farmers. Just trying to, you know, feed the public some good, healthy, hot, fresh food on the go. There are tons of options to choose from. You can have a rice bowl, build your own quesadilla, or enjoy one of the favorites like the barbecue chicken quesadilla or the best-selling cheeseburger quesadilla. The cheeseburger starts off with the all organic uh, tortilla, 10-inch tortilla fold over. Um, it's layered with um, avocado mayo base, and it starts off with your two ounces of beef two ounces of cheddar, you have your spinach, your onions, tomatoes, and another two ounces of cheese. And, you know, fold over, put it together, and come out fresh. And of course, you can't forget dessert, like a cheesecake quesadilla, that is not only delicious, but also healthy. Completely all organic, with the homemade strawberry sauce. Uh, and, you know, 
even the ice cream on that comes on it, you know, it's organic. The food has so much flavor, many folks forget it's actually good for them. It is hard to believe, yes, in every way that it's healthy because it just tastes so good. So good. Besides being healthy, there are many reasons to stop into OK Sevilla. I love it. It's a cool atmosphere, good people, good service, good food. Not to mention a menu full of creative quesadillas and a personal promise from the owner. I promise you, if you give us a try, you'll be back. In Oklahoma City, Tiffany Tatro, Discover Oklahoma. No matter where your next road trip takes you, the Discover Oklahoma Dining Guide will help you find a great place to eat. Just log on to our website, TravelOK.com, and click Request Free Brochures to get your copy. Coming up on Discover Oklahoma. Hi, I'm Lucas here at the American Banjo Museum with legend Roy Clark. Legend, legend. Yes. We're at the Oklahoma Music Museum that's showcasing Roy Clark's contribution to music. Oh my gosh, we enjoy this a couple, two, three times a week. Plus the spot where home cooking keeps folks coming back for more. It's all ahead right here on Discover Oklahoma. What do you want when you go on vacation? How about adventure or just relaxation? You might want an edge where your mind grows wings or maybe a place to see spectacular things. How about a road where you can get your kicks, throw music and art into your bag of trips? This is the land of wonders far and wide. When you're in Oklahoma, just enjoy the ride. Visit TravelOK.com and explore. Come see for yourself when you want to see more. Oklahoma Today magazine brings you stunning photography and authentic award-winning stories of home from Oklahoma. The only magazine that covers the entire state, Oklahoma Today showcases what we love about Oklahoma, bringing to you the very best of its people, places, culture, history, and of course, its legendary food. This holiday season, give the gift of Oklahoma Today to family and friends for just $14.95. Visit tvoffer.oklahomatoday.com. Open seven days a week, 365 days a year, Oklahoma's great state parks are stocked with summertime adventures. Suit up and cool off in a lake or river. Hike the trails, dig for treasures, or play around on our unique courses. On weekdays, you can stay and play starting at $75. You get one night of lodging, a round of golf, and a sleeve of golf balls. Get package details at travelok.com slash spdeals and come see for yourself. Welcome back to Discover Oklahoma. We're taking a look around the Medicine Park Aquarium and Natural Sciences Center. It's a fun place to visit, and three times a day they have a small show where they feed the electric eels. Another spot you'll want to hit up is the Oklahoma Banjo Museum. And that's because there's a special exhibit featuring country music legend Roy Clark. It's on display now. Lucas Ross got a chance to sit down with Roy. Take a look. <laughs> Hey, Lucas here at the American Banjo Museum in Bricktown, Oklahoma City. Among over 400 beautiful banjos on display, but there's a brand new exhibit you gotta check out. America's super picker, Roy Clark. Lucas here at the American Banjo Museum with legend Roy Clark. Legend, legend. Yes. Congratulations on uh, being inducted and having this great display at the American Banjo Museum. Well, this blows my mind. Wow. It's beautiful. I mean, you talk about the first instrument you ever heard. Well, the first musical sounds the first musical was sounds. a banjo. My dad played tenor banjo, so that was uh, hearing him when I was just a in a crib. I was. Um, I, I guess attracted to, I uh, wonder where that sound came from and uh, could I make it happen. You have been on everything from The Tonight Show to The Beverly Hillbillies to The Muppets to The Odd Couple and of course Hee Haw. What was the show or what was the occasion when you finally, it hit you that you had 
arrive. You think there is a moment when you start, and then you get to thinking, well, if I don't hurry up, they're gonna use all the notes that there are, and I said, by the time I get there, they'll all be gone. <laughs> and I realized very shortly that there is no end. The more you find, the more there is to find. Don't uh, cut your ears off until your heart hears it, because there is music all over this planet, and the more there is to hear, the, the more there is uh, to be part of it. It's, um, it has completed my soul that I'm like Ray Charles. If it wasn't for music, I don't think I would be here or anywhere today without it. Well, we're glad that you're here. Congratulations on this exhibit and for being a part of the American Banjo Hall of Fame right here in the city. To be part of it is an honor. From The Tonight Show to Beverly Hillbillies to, of course, Hee Haw, and now Oklahoma City, Roy Clark has a special place right here at the American Banjo Museum. I'm Lucas Ross, Discovering Oklahoma. If you're ready to plan your trip to Oklahoma City, we've got a guide that will help you decide what else to do while you visit. Just head to our website, TravelOK.com, and click where it says Request Free Brochures. Coming up on Discover Oklahoma. We're really known for our giant omelets. Um, our omelets come on a 12-inch uh, platter, and they take up the entire platter. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner, every meal with a unique view, the airport restaurant you'll want to hit up when Discover Oklahoma continues. The Oklahoma Travel Guide is filled with festive events and iconic attractions, outdoor wonders, and the hottest places to eat and stay. It's the perfect roadmap to unforgettable adventures. Order your free Oklahoma Travel Guide today at TravelOK.com. Some like it quiet. Some like it loud. Some want to just get lost in the crowd. Whatever you like, from mountains to museums, Oklahoma has more. You just have to see them. This is the land of wide open wonder, where excitement runs rampant in the city of thunder. Music and art put on their best faces, and smiles are shared freely in so many places. TravelOK.com invites you to see. Come see for yourself where you'd rather be. The Rhythm and Roots Music Trail is your front row seat to excitement. Hit the road to explore rock, blues, country, all of Oklahoma's rich music heritage. Order your free guide at TravelOK.com. Oklahoma, where the wind comes sweeping down the plain. And the waving wheat can sure smell sweet when the wind comes right behind the rain. Oklahoma every night, my honey lamb and I Sit alone and talk And watch our hawk Making lazy circles in the sky We know we belong to the land And the land we belong to is grand And when we say I am the We're only saying you're doing fine Oklahoma Oklahoma Oklahoma. Okay. Oklahoma, come see for yourself. You forgot the honey lamb. <laughs> One last look around the Medicine Park Aquarium and Natural Sciences Center now open to the public. This museum has been a long time in the making and now that it's open, it's a must-see location. Absolutely, and from a must-see to a must-eat, we found a place in Norman that's a little bit off the beaten path, but man oh man, it is delicious just the same. All these diners located in the Max Westheimer Airport in Norman. That's right, I said the airport. It's been here for over 31 years. Being where we are, most people would think it'd be hard to make it. But it has actually been a blessing, this location, it really has, um, because not too many places you can go and see the airplanes come in, which really entertains the children. And yes, being located at the airport is unique and fun, but it's the incredible food at Aussies that keep people coming back and this place busy all the time. Let's start with their breakfast menu. 
And everything is cooked to order, everything's fresh, anything you can imagine is on our list of breakfast items. We're really known for our giant omelets. Um, our omelets come on a 12-inch platter and they take up the entire platter. We don't have anything that comes in frozen. Um, even our lunch or dinner items are all pre-breaded, all of our soups, sauces, and steaks. And we cut our own steaks. We uh, soup sauces and gravies, make our own biscuits, uh, make our own dinner rolls. So they're going to think homemade. It's home cooked is what it reminds me of. It's, it's a home cooked, uh, home taste. Uh, it doesn't taste like a restaurant. So uh, that's, that's what I like about the quality. They have an all you can eat breakfast special seven days a week, although that special ends at different times throughout the week. When you think all you can eat, you think of a buffet, but here at Ozzy's you get to sit down, the server will come and wait on you, and you can eat as much as you would like, and order as much as you would like, and you know, we make sure to, this, that the customer is completely satisfied, and they can do it on a budget of under $7, $6.99. All you can eat, made to order, top quality breakfast for essentially $7, I think that is an unbelievable value. Time now to look at their lunch and dinner menu, and yes, they are also open for dinner. Our two most popular sellers are going to be our chicken fried steak, which is an eight ounce chicken fry, okay, which is hand breaded to order and um, it comes with two homemade sides and a homemade roll. Now by far we're known for our catfish, which is farm raised out of Arkansas. We get it delivered twice a week. Um, we go through about 350 pounds a week of catfish here in this little restaurant. Ozzy's has a rather large menu, four pages for breakfast, four pages for lunch and dinner, and they do everything from meatloaf to chicken to steaks, a little bit of seafood, and of course, burgers. All of our burgers are 100% ground ribeye, um, and, it's, and it's fresh, never frozen, so you're gonna get a steak burger when you come to Ozzy's, and you're gonna get it for a price that you would pay less than for a standard burger at a restaurant. Another unique thing about Ozzy's is their customer loyalty program. And how that works is uh, customers can text the word Ozzy, O-Z-Z-I-E, to the five digit code 95577. And what that does is that logs their number into a database. And we have about 7,000 numbers in there. And once a week, we'll send a special out. Like today, we sent out a special for a eight ounce chicken fry with the two sides in a roll for $4.95. And that tech special he received is what brought Steve Doss, a regular customer, in today. And then you mention it to the waitress, and uh, if that's what you want, and that's what you get for the tech special. So, like today is the chicken fried steak tech special for $4.95. I highly recommend the fish, which is outstanding, and uh, just the, the familiarity. You're never a stranger here, no matter who you are. You're always welcome. How fresh the food is, the appearance of the food, and the price of the food. Mm -hmm. It's all winners. Oh my gosh, we enjoy this a couple, two, three times a week. A fun location, customer loyalty, tremendous specials, and outstanding food. That's Ozzy's Diner in Norman. We have a lot of pride in what we do. And we, you know, like I said, we love making the customer happy. And you know, it, it's great to have so many people that are so loyal um, to this restaurant. You'll find Ozzy's at Max Westheimer Airport at 1700 Lexington in Norman. They're open Monday through Saturday, 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. and 6 a.m. to 3 p.m. on Sunday. A huge thank you to the folks here at the Medicine Park Aquarium and Natural Sciences Center for hosting us this week. You'll find them just south of Highway 49 overlooking Mount Scott and Lake Latonka. Look for the sign that says Aquarium Drive. Admission prices vary by age and they do offer group discounts. You can find more at their website. And coming up next Saturday on Discover Oklahoma, we're taking a trip to the tall grass prairie. Explore the natural beauty of this Oklahoma treasure. And all the way from the Santa Monica Pier to the heart of Oklahoma, the story behind the big Ferris wheel and how your family can take a ride. It's all coming up next Saturday night, right here on Discover Oklahoma. So until next time, remember, there's always something to discover in Oklahoma.